When guiding the visually impaired skier, it's essential to build rapport, trust, and confidence as soon as possible. Allow time to meet before skiing to begin this process. Some facts to consider and discuss are the skier's use and range of vision. What and how much can they see? Consider their ability to hear and the distance of that hearing. Discuss their skiing level and ability. Talk about any preferences of snow conditions, type of terrain, or any particular guiding requirement by the skier. Also remember to discuss the skier's skiing history and other places they may have skied, as well as your guiding experience. The guide and skier need an agreed-upon, abbreviated, concise command system. During your warm-up runs, observe the skier's ability, timing, and comfort level, and practice these commands. Uh, my name is Kevin Foster. I am from uh, Chandler, Arizona. I am 50 years old. I uh, lost my vision when I was about 10 years old. I have some usable vision, but generally just see shadows and contrast. I uh, was legally blind by the age of 13, and uh, uh, have been, you know, it's a slow degenerative eye condition. You have to build a strong, trusting relationship with your guide. And begin your right turn with a one. Now. And. For the guide, that trust means blending the commands with rhythm and timing cues, such as and or one, two, three. And left turn. One, two, three. Keep your feet on the ground and hold left and hold left and hold left and you're free to go. Short radius turn, no jumping. Keep going. Yeah. In advanced guiding, a guide will ski or guide, I should say, either from the front or the rear, depending on the situation. Quick left and right. Hold on me, keep coming, two turns, left and right, and hold to a stop. Quick left turn, quick right turn, hold, okay? One, two, three, go. Left turn, right turn, and hold. Let it roll, good. All right, I'm gonna, it's uh, two lengths of skis, and then you just slide off of it. One, two, and there's the jump. Good, let's keep it rolling. In, in steep, extreme terrain, you know, or, or very steep terrain, uh, it's best to have the guide, uh, I, I call my own turns. And in crowded terrain, in, in lift lines or in crowded, you know, cat tracks, it's best for me to follow my guide. Okay. Just for something nice, smooth, complete, feet are on the ground under you, short radius turns, put a whole bunch together. In free skiing, there is less need for calling turns and more emphasis on steering the skier, keeping them in a safe zone. The guide must be able to control the skier while moving forward or back as necessary. The timing of commands is essential. And, and as well as constantly scanning ahead for obstacles and changes in terrain. Hold right. I'm coming in above you. Good. Nice job. Blend right. And you're good to go. And. Turn right. Hold right. Go ahead. And, yes. Hold right, I'm coming in above you. Good, nice job. So notice how Kevin's skis stay in constant contact with the snow. He'll detect the fall line by allowing his tips to travel downhill. Then by using a pivot slide turn, he controls his speed and direction. When Kevin feels the fall line, he'll pivot slide right or left while maintaining speed control throughout the slide. By keeping the brakes on through pivot sliding, Kevin has the time to feel changes in the slope, fall line, and snow conditions, thus allowing him greater freedom to ski the mountain. There you go. Boom, there's your one. <laughs> 
And right turn, Clyde. And left, tight. Short radius. Tight, too much, tight. Tighter. I'm on your right. On the catwalks, use voice commands and pull clicks as a backup. Maintain a safe distance trying to complete the turns at the same time. Call out any changes in terrain. The guide's responsibility is to know where the skier is at all times. And a little lip. Yeah. Medium radius. And big left. To achieve equal speed on the catwalk, maintain a physical contact through touch or a pull from the side. Here's the spot. Nice. Hang right this time. Good. <laughs> All right, going through here, let's swing out to the left again, okay? The stump right there. So here we go, out to the left, blend it around. Good. Nice. So I guess you really trust me by now. Total trust. Really? Yeah, it's crazy. It's really? Sounds, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now really tighten up here on the left. Tight left more. All right, slow down to stop. Here, let me take over. We also got a new sign down here. So let's just bring it real down. Okay, here we can let it run. All right, you on me? Okay, we got some people coming up, so get me tight. <coughs> nice. Always check uphill for merging traffic. Even on uncrowded slopes, remember to find a safe place to stop. And right turn, left turn to a stop. Nice. That was nice. What Kevin has skied with the Telluride Adaptive Sports for over seven years and is very familiar with the terrain and its challenges. By using competent guides who develop a safe, trusting, comfortable relationship, he has the confidence and ability to make his own turns and the freedom to ski the entire mountain.